Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And as you guys know, it's December, so I'm going to be doing some Christmas shaves probably all year long because, hey, it's one of the holidays that everyone loves. Real quick, let's wet the face. <music> Oh yes, well, I wanted to uh, use a soap that I bought last year, and I thought I remembered what it smelled like. I'd only used it a couple times, and uh, it is by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and this is Cosmic Christmas Cookies. Now, I don't have a scent profile because they haven't released it again uh, yet this year, but uh, I, I really thought, and I seem like I remember it being kind of a, a vanilla uh, scented Christmas cookie that you get in the tin and so whenever uh, I picked it up this morning out of all the other <laughs> soaps on my shelf I thought yeah that, that'll be a good one to start the year off and then I s took a little whiff have you guys used this soap here it is Woo! it's dark right so the first thing when I seen it I was like hmm I don't quite remember it being dark, but I can't remember every soap I have. And so I took a little whiff and I realized, to me, that smells like Oreo cookies. I mean, straight up. Maybe not so much the chocolate part, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it smells like Oreo cookies to me. If you have uh, tried this, smelt it, had a sample, comment below and let me know. What do you think? Is that what it smells like? That's what I get. All right, and uh, since this is going to be a PAA shave, I'm going to use the Copper Dual Open Comb by Phoenix. And uh, this does have a nice little curve to it. Beautiful razor. And I'm going to be using a feather blade in there. And this will be the second use for this feather blade. Let's go ahead and remove the handle. And the top cap is what has the tabs in it. So let's go ahead and load the blade up real quick. How are you guys doing? Did you uh, get caught up in any of the Black Friday sales? If so, what did you get? What have you looked for all year? Uh, if you're a patient wet shaver, you know that most places do some kind of special or discounts and uh everybody wants to run to it and and grab them and i'm not that patient sometimes and so i won't even tell you what i did or did not get so i'm going to be using the original cube for a little pre-shave action and i will tell you this definitely has menthol in it every time i pick it up You can smell it. I mean, it's just a beautiful menthol scent. I already have the lather whipped up here in the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And I am using a PAA brush, which I can never remember what the name of this is. Peregrino. I should call it the green lightning or something along that effect, but there we go. It's uh, nice and, and wet. Uh, I did use one quarter of a teaspoon and 13 milliliters of water. And with this soap, you can definitely go uh, pretty wet with it. Sometimes I like to go uh, with a little bit more water if I'm doing the pre-shave, the cube, because it does kind of suck up a little bit of that water and it could make your I'm getting a Kevy shave going here uh it could it could pull a little bit of that moisture out of your soap man I'm just getting it all over that's all right maybe my wife will nibble on my cheek a little bit because I smell like an Oreo or not 
All right, here we go. We're going to go with the first pass with the grain. And I will say the feather blade combo with this razor is excellent. It's very smooth. Yes, nice. And of course, the soap always has a nice residual slickness to it. I won't say that I forget about this razor. I have a note here that I want to get out of the way. Now I, now I can actually see what I'm doing. I had a note there as a reminder of something that I wanted to tell you guys, so I will uh, tell you later if I don't forget. Yeah, like I was saying, not that I forget that I have this razor, but I have several razors that are uh, in my shelf there, and sometimes you just overlook them because you're you see something in the front row and you go, that one, yes please. <laughs> Did you guys get the lump of coal from PAA? I did not. Uh, that is a soap that I kind of am unsure about. Just, you know, by the title, I would think it's a, uh, a creosote smell. But when you look at the scent profile, when you look at the scent profile, though, it's uh, definitely some different notes. And I'm not a wizard with all the scents yet. My nose is still being educated daily. And so I really wasn't sure what it would smell like. And, you know, some people say, well, it's a clean scent. Well, some people say Arco is a clean scent and other people will roll over in their grave and say, no, it's not. So I don't know. I may have to get a sample and just uh, see what it's like. And man, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about that. We're going to go across the grain. Oh, yeah. This may not be the closest razor or closest shave razor possible, but I will say it's nice and smooth. And if you're just wanting a daily driver, I would say this is a nice one to get. All the shaves that I've done with it, I've never had any irritation. I do have a little bit of irritation right there from another shave. One not seen on camera. <laughs> I cannot believe it is December already. It won't be long. And the new year will be here. Off camera, I've got a bowl full of cold water. I'll do a little cold water rinse here. Ooh, that is cold. Probably a little help of that menthol makes it feel a little bit cooler. Hmm. All right, you know what to make it even more cool? Some ice cube. If I can get my hands on it without it slipping. Whew. Yeah, one of the things I was thinking about is uh, if we get any snow this year, I may do. An outdoor shave in the snow. What do you think about that? I don't know if my breathing, 
I was getting ready to say, man, I don't have my eyes in, but I seen that and I was like, look at all that soap. Now it's just where my shirt's getting wet. Okay, well, <clears throat> that's why you shave with your glasses on, man. What are you thinking? Where are those glasses? No, I know where they're at. They're right here. <laughs> all right, and uh, I'm going to be using the matching splash. I just give that a little shake for good measure. And, ooh, it's got the old school uh, restrictor on it. Oh, yes. Mm, man, you can definitely smell that. Just work that in down there a little bit. I was, I was going to reach for the frostbite, but I think I'm just going to stick with tradition and use some star jelly. If you've made it this far in the video, I would like to say thank you for watching. If you would consider subscribing, I would appreciate it. Or smash that like button now to let me know if this was a good video. And if it wasn't, comment below and let me know what needs to be improved on. I will put a little picture right here of everything that I used today. And I will say that it was a nice shave and a great way to start out December with some December or Christmas scents. And uh, it, like I said, if you have any recommendations or other Christmas scents you want to watch or see or hear my ridiculous <laughs> scent descriptions, <laughs> that's not really funny. Everybody describes stuff differently. But uh, anyway, on my note over there, if you were curious as to what I was going to tell you, I just wanted to have a little reminder that said, I haven't forgotten about the shave off between the Henson and the winning razor or the winner razor. I always get that name confused, but anyway, it wins, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, <laughs> I'll have that one coming up and it will probably be on a Wednesday, will it shave Wednesday video. So thanks again, guys. And I will see you again on the next shave video. You have a great weekend.